Oh, wait, we do have a change. Look at that. He is switching off a of warrior and going to uh, rogue um, with that PvP gear on. Uh, they're still horde, though. Yeah, and I mean, last time we saw this guy play uh, a rogue against... They had to switch to a rogue to, to beat Rogue Mage Priest once, yep. but it, it didn't, in the end, allow them to win. So uh, he's obviously not uh, that experienced at rogue, but I assume he's put in some more practice time since the last time we saw him in action on his rogue. Well, um, potentially have a, a different result here. So let's see. We've got uh, this is Falcon that you're watching on your screen right now. Hopefully, okay, he's playing a lot more defensively to begin with. But at, between the two rogues, we've got, you know, oh, getting they were start moving towards each other. But oh, and he gets taken out by a blizzard. Blizzard, another great, uh, another does a great move, um, and that rank one frostbolt. So he's going to, uh, Zom's going to be able to get the opener on to the other rogue, which is what they're going to do. He is wearing PvP gear, um, so it's going to help him a little bit out, but, you know, already taking a lot of damage down to half-life. Uh, if Falcon is polyed right now, choosing not to break it, Siler <laughs> getting so low right now, um, and uh, uses evasion to stop some of that damage. Shadow steps away a bit to get back on another, but he's going to be stuck in that. There we go. Cloak of Shadows to get out of that Frost Nova. And he's trying to stick to another who's not getting that much heals from O'Reilly yet. But here we go. Empower Infusion on himself with a blind on O'Reilly. He's uh, didn't see the trinket on that. It may have just faded. But now we have a blind on... Um, on Siler to stop the damage with Falcon getting really low right now, having to pain suppression himself. Zom really uh, doing a ton of damage to him. Uh, really looking pretty well mana wise. Um, and we do see some mana burns coming out from the priests. Uh, Falcon power infusing him himself, and looks like he is going to try to do some mana burns on another to stop that offensive main mage damage. Yeah, and in this Season 2 gear, mages don't have all that much armor, so the, the rogue damage is not too bad. Not, not, it's actually pretty good here with the PvE gear. So we do see another taking such, such a huge amount of damage here. Just cannot get any heals, really. They keep getting dispelled. We did see the, the pain suppression there, though, and he does ice block again. No mass to spell right away on that, and he does get topped off all the way there. So we're just going to see the rogue sticking to him the majority of the fight here, just trying to do as much damage to him as possible. But one thing that is interesting about uh, the, the difference in the game between now and then is the fact that the ice armor has been changed and is now undispellable. Yep. Okay, so you got uh, Siler, who's actually at half health, being uh, controlled a bit. Oh, wow, well-timed Cloak of Shadow to get out of that Nova before that Frostbolt landed. Uh, another trying to polymorph uh, Falcon, who's completely out of mana right now. Solar Sphered away. He's really far away, choosing to drink. Uh, they might be able to kill Siler right here because of how far away... Um, oh, another is taking a ton of damage from Siler, but, uh, you know, Siler really has Zom on his back. Here comes a second blind out uh, from the rogue, which means Zom's blind has to be back up. Um, and a lot of damage. Another is silenced right now. He's not going to be able to blink away. Evocates right in front of him. Wow. That was really Great good well, there coordination Zom right there. Shadow stepping in um, to... Uh, Cheap shot yep. and then kidney him to allow his mage to get that evocate off. Yeah, and we and do as have you can see, oh, both Siler the getting really low right now. Man and Siler is getting so low here. And blind on Falcon. We did see that blind, and Solar was actually sitting and drinking because he was out of mana. Um, and it looks like SK is going to take this 3 nothing. Exactly, and quite a surprise there. You know, we saw SK just come out much more prepared here. They knew what they needed to do against this double healer uh, warrior slash rogue team, and they were able to change their tactics a bit, change their strategy, and come out on top. So a bit of a surprise there, especially considering that it was a Rogue Priest Druid against Rogue Mage Druid in the end. A lot of people will say that there's no reason that Rogue Priest Druid should, yeah. should lose that. But SK doing a good job of proving people wrong and, you know, coming out on top with okay, that Rogue gonna... Mage Priest lineup.